Hi, my friends. My name is Jane DeYoung, and I am the pastor of care at your church, Hillside Covenant. This is the first of several videos that you'll be seeing, and um, this is from the staff. We just want to really make an effort to stay connected with you, and we'd love for you to feel like you're still connected to your home church and your church family. So you'll see videos, we'll have, send out some emails, we'll have phone calls. So we're going to just do what we can do in the next few weeks to keep us connected. So today I wanted to share with you um, some of the my initial experiences during this coronavirus uh, time, which is, as we all know, a unique time. So just a couple of things that happened to me and, that, uh, and some thoughts that I have about, um, about that. So one of the first images that I saw when this whole thing started was uh, on television, and it was a picture of the people coming out of Costco with an absurd amount of toilet paper on their carts. <laughs> and I thought, oh my goodness, this is what it's going to be like. And um, I just, this is why I never like to watch movies about the end of the world or a dystopian future or anything like that because they always show the worst side of humanity and that is the me first side and I think that's what we were seeing in those images the need to protect me and mine and the heck with all the rest of you so it just it kind of hurt me to think that that's the era that we're in, entering into it's so opposite what the kingdom of God is to be and to be like so so this past Monday, when I realized that my refrigerator really was empty and I did need to go to the grocery store, I wasn't looking forward to it. But I figured it wouldn't be too bad because it had been a couple of days since the county health people had issued a guideline for, you know, people staying home and stuff. Um, what I didn't know was that about an hour before I left for the grocery store, the governor and the five counties um, had all announced that um, there was an order to shelter in place, and um, so, which didn't prevent me from going to the grocery store, but I didn't know until later that that had happened, and it explained what I saw when I arrived at the grocery store, which was a madhouse. So I think a lot of people heard that announcement and headed immediately to the Safeway where I do my shopping. So I pulled in, and it was, um, you know, waiting, people waiting for parking spots, people waiting for carts. Um, inside, there were lines that went down the aisles. You couldn't even see the end of them. So I just took a deep breath, girded my loins, whatever that is, and um, entered the fray. But I have to tell you, there was um, what actually happened surprised me. Uh, what I experienced was that people were, were very friendly. They were patient. They were nice to each other. Um, I just didn't expect that. And I think there was just a feeling like, okay, we're in this together. And so, you know, let's make the best of it. So um, I had one of those funny conversations in line. We just had these great conversations with people throughout the store. And one of them happened while we were waiting in line. The woman ahead of me said, you know, it's interesting to look in people's carts and see what it is that they find so important that they had to go to the store. For it. I said, okay, so what was it that brought you <laughs> to the store? And she said, actually, it was to get half and half for my coffee because that's I need that in the morning. And I smiled and said, well, for me, it was my special tea bags, which I also need in the morning. So um, it was funny because I talked to my sister later and the very similar conversation happened to her. But with her, the woman behind her and my sister had a very good laugh when they realized that they both had a gallon bottle of scotch in their, in their shopping carts. <laughs> so they had a good laugh about that. And, you know, we figured, well, we all, you know, we need what we need. So that was, that was their experience. But all in all, it was a, a fairly good experience. It was, uh, you know, we're all in this together kind of thing. So I left encouraged. And that was just reinforced the next day when three of my neighbors contacted me and offered to get things for me, to see if I was okay, to just uh, invite me to call them if, if anything came up. So that was really nice. I appreciated that. And then I had a funny little thing happen when I was out walking my dog, Chester. 
And I, I saw a gentleman that I often, um, oh, Chester wants to get in the video now. Come here, bud. All right, here's Chester. So, so we were out taking a walk and I saw this older gentleman that I often say hello to. And um, he was, uh, it was a bit distant from me and he was having a rather animated conversation with one of the men who was um, picking up the trash bins and putting them in the trash truck. And at first I thought maybe they're having an altercation of some kind, but then as I got closer, I realized they were speaking Italian and they were having quite a good time. But then before they parted ways and the trash guy went on his way and the gentleman went into in the house, they bumped elbows. And I just, I thought that was just so sweet. And so, you know, people adapt and um, we can all adapt. So I thought that was something worth, um, I'm gonna get Chester out of here now. Down you go, buddy. Um, that was something worth commenting on and noticing. Um, so, this is the way forward, my friends. It's kindness, humor, putting each other before ourselves. And I think that doesn't come naturally to us. I was thinking about people in the Bible, and I realized that Jesus' disciples had a little issue with that, too. I remember James and John and their mother wanted to dibs the best places next to Jesus in uh, the kingdom. And um, Peter, when he was in a, you know, stressful situation, he said to Jesus, what about us? You know, what's going to happen to us? Well, we've sacrificed everything. What's in it for us? And um, so I thought, you know what? These same men um, were changed utterly inside out by following Jesus. And I feel that that same thing can be with us. We can also um, be changed. We don't have to follow our, our normal human um, urges of self-protection. So I know we'll have moments, you know, where we want to grab that last jar of spaghetti sauce or the last container of wet wipes or whatever. Um, but I just pray that in that moment, our heart would be open to the Holy Spirit and that we would say, after you. So that's my prayer for us, my friends. May God bless you and keep you safe as we help each other getting through this time. Because we are in it together. Thank you.